So this is a very, um, you okay there, Riley? Yeah? yeah. This is a very basic um, structural frame, right? Two columns and a bead. Now, it's, it's more or less stable. I, it's not very stiff, but it is stable, okay? So you, 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 you want to, you want to distinguish between strength, stiffness, and stability. Okay, so I'm not talking about strength. I, I'm not talking about stiffness right now. I'm talking about stability. Three different concepts, quite distinct, each of them important in a structure. Okay, so this is capable of resisting a horizontal load, yeah? These joints are somewhat stiff. They can resist bending. Now, if I turn these joints into a pin, so I'm taking one of these pins out. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that pin out, sorry. I took out the wrong pin. Uh, no. I took out the wrong pin, okay. So if I take out one of these pins, This turns into a hinge, if I can get it out. Can you get that out? Pull that out there if you can. Just pull that in this way. <coughs> Too stiff. No, okay, all right, we get out the other ones. So if I take this one out, sorry, this one, this is no longer capable of resisting a moment, okay? And uh, but the frame is still stable, okay? These two are resisting moments. I can take this one out. Now, this is a pin, this is a pin, but this is fixed, right? So it's still stable, it doesn't collapse completely. So if, if there isn't enough fixity in the frame, eventually it becomes unstable, okay? And generally, in building frames, if you use these joints between columns and beams, or between columns and foundations, to resist lateral loads, the bending moments become extremely high. It can be done. You can design a building to resist all the lateral load purely using um, the joints between the beams and the columns, okay? But it's, the reinforcing becomes um, very congested, right? It's quite difficult to do, to actually detail it, but it can be done. It's easier to do it in a steel frame because it's easier to make connections in a steel frame, okay? So it can be done. Okay, the next way that you would stabilize this is um, you could uh, tie the frame. Here's my marker. Okay. You could tie. Um, so if this is a pin, and this is a pin, and this is a pin, and this is a pin, the whole frame is unstable, yeah? The frame is not stable. But if I tie it like that, now it becomes stable. So that's another way of stabilizing a building just using. Um, long, thin members, yeah? And you'd often see this in steel buildings. Very, very common to do this in steel. Okay, in reinforced concrete buildings, the more common way to do it, as, as you've all shown here, is to use walls that may be part of a stairwell, or a lift shaft, or in some cases, they're just a wall. They're not part of a stairwell or a lift shaft. So for this building, for stiffness and stability in this direction, these walls are very stiff in this direction, okay? This way. These four walls stop the whole building from flopping over. In this direction, these have almost no stiffness. But if you look carefully in the model, you'll see there are two other walls in here and in here and four altogether. There's one, two, three, four walls in the model to give me stiffness in this direction, okay? So I need something deep in this direction, and I need something deep in this direction. 
And the great thing about a stairwell is it's got all four, or a lift shaft has all four. So they're very commonly the things that give stability to a building. All right? So that's the end of that little talk. All right? Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for that, Riley.